Hey everyone, Darren here, and today we're going to be looking at Google Analytics. So we're going to be looking more specifically at page views for a specific page. So if you have written an article and you're trying to see how well it's doing, then this will definitely be the video for you to see how well it's doing. I'm going to go over how to see the page views over time so you can see if the page is really growing or if it's just kind of sitting flat. Yeah, so this is not going to be a very long video. It's just going to be kind of a short and sweet how to navigate Google Analytics and check out the page views for your page. So if you do find this helpful, though, if you could please subscribe, that would really help the channel out. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is have Google Analytics set up. Um, Google Analytics is pretty easy to set up. If you go to google.analytics.com, it's going to show you how to set it up. And really, you just need this JavaScript line that gets added to your website. And once you've added that to every page on your website, so if you have WordPress, then you just add it to the header section. Um, then it gets propagated to every page. And then all the data streams in for Google Analytics. So once you have that set up, you can come in here and you're going to click on behavior. And if you go to behavior, this is the section where you can really drill down and see individual page statistics. So I've added some kind of Diablo 2 content to my website and I wanted to see how well that's doing. So I'm going to come down here and search for Diablo 2 because it has Diablo-2 and all the page names. And as you can see, it's kind of taking off um, as far as these go. Relative to the entire site size, they're very small, but it's actually growing. And this is just showing the last week, but I added this content, the most of this content months ago. So we're just gonna change the timeout. So it goes back um, a couple of months. And as you can see, there's zero page views and we get six. And then it just kind of starts growing from there and taking off. Okay, so if I wanted to filter out just this Diablo 2 Ultimate Mercenary Guide to see how well this page has been doing um, and kind of its growth track, you can actually just click on it here. And that will show you the chart of just kind of how that page has been doing. So back when I wrote the page, it wasn't really doing anything. And then it started getting a page view here or there. And, you know, now we're over here getting 15, 10 some days and eight others. So it has grown. It's just not flying off the shelf. Um, you can change this from daily to weekly, um, which paints a kind of even clearer picture of growth, which is kind of nice to just see, you know, oh, yeah, last week it was 81, 76, 72. Um, that was kind of an odd bump. I think that's when D2 Resurrected was announced. So it's just kind of grown, which is cool. Obviously, the amount of page views this page has is very small compared to the rest of my site. So it's not actually a big deal about the numbers. I'm just kind of using it as an example here. Okay, so that's about it for drilling into a single page. You can change the date range up here to see which different time period you'd like to see. Um, you can click on it down here to single out that page. You can use the search over here to search for that page and find it if you've got a ton of pages like I do. Um, another really cool thing is behavior flow, which gives you this giant chart here and shows, you know, if people went to the home page and the majority of them dropped off. Um, that's just kind of how it is. And then um, and then from the home page, um, a lot of them went to the TBC talent section of my site and then a different portion went to Wrath of the Lich King add ons. It just kind of shows this behavior flow of the user went to the site and then they went here and then they went there, which is really nice when you're trying to figure out where people are going from a specific page. Say you add a new link to a second page and you're trying to see how many people actually follow that link, then this behavior flow would definitely be the way to go to kind of identify that. But yeah, that's about it for today. I just wanted to show you this section of Google Analytics that I thought was super handy. If this helped you out, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would really help the channel out. And if you have any other questions that are Google Analytics related, just drop them in the comments and I would love to help out. And yeah, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.